everybody, welcome back to Bixie Woo. It's that time of year again where we get to have real fun with makeup. And this year I am going to do something slightly different. Every year so far I have done crazy Halloween makeup tutorials and they've always been with products that are kind of quite hard to get hold of and a little bit more expensive. But this year Asda have approached me and asked me, challenged me, to do a makeup tutorial using the products that they're selling. Which are really, really cool. We'll see how it turns out. I've got some of their bits behind me as well. And in return of this, they are going to, Sam and I are going to have a Google Hangout with nine lucky winners of you guys who will get sent all the stuff that I use and we will recreate it together. Um, so that's anyone in the world. Asda is very, very similar. In fact, I think it's the same as Walmart in the States. So if you don't win and you want to get hold of these bits, I'm pretty sure they'll have something similar. Let's get started. I've got so much stuff here for me to play with and see and put to the test and see how it works. I have to show you this one because I think it's clever actually. Um, in here, you get all the products and then inside it has like how to make the looks. And I think that's awesome, especially for those mums that have like got your kids and they're saying, do this, do that. And you're like, I don't know how to do it. Breaks it down for you really nicely. And on the back, which I think, being a makeup geek, I love that it has a mixing colour chart, which everyone should have anyway. Really, really awesome. So to win, all you have to do is leave a comment uh, saying why you should win, and we will get back to you. Right. Oh, yeah, the Hangout will be on the 24th of October, because that's it's just going to be difficult, because if you're from another country, we're going to have to make the times match, but I'm sure we can find something. Right, let's get started. Right, firstly, I'm going to take a Pritt stick. Now this is like um, a, a glue, and I'm going to soften it on my hand. This is love for the cause. This is love for Halloween that I'm actually going to use a Pritt stick on my brows because I'm really trying to grow my brows back. But this will just flatten my brows down. Easy peasy. I'm excited by this challenge. Oh, look, I've got eyebrows in there. Three. Three. One of them's a really good eyebrow as well. A really thick one. Right, I've got a witch's nose. I'm going to cut this bit of string off to start off with because I don't see witches with string around their nose. Let's get that out. Let's have a little position of it and see how big it is. It's a bit too wide, although it stays on on its own. I'm just going to trim the back of that a tiny bit. Just to make it a teensy bit more comfortable. Right, here's the green I'm going to use my base. Get that out. Ooh. I love Halloween. This is like I'm doing a real test run for you, see if it stains your skin or not. Now I need to take that on my ears. Okay, so paint your whole face green. I don't mind being green because it's my favourite colour. I'm taking it right down onto my neck. Don't think I'll be picking Harry up from nursery in this. Okay, I've just swapped for a slightly smaller brush so I can get into all the fine areas. And what I'm doing is I'm allowing the product to set before I put another coat over the top. Which means it's much more time consuming, but it's fun at the same time. I'm not bothering to do my nose that brilliantly because I'm going to put a fake nose on so I'm 
I'm going to stick my nose on. You can use eyelash glue or something like that. It will stick it on perfectly. Right, let's paint that. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, I'm going to draw a little bit of shape on. I need to take this little palette here. And I'm going to take the black oh, itch, on a brush. Just around the nose and down the mouth. You need to let that green one set quite a bit beforehand actually. Just a little mole. I need quite a few down the lips. I'm also going to take the black on the brush that I used before. I'm just going to darken my face there. Because the issue is I don't have a pointy chin so I need a thinner th face. So I'm going to go down the cheekbone. Does that make sense? So I'm going to follow the cheekbone and then cut it in. And then around the chin and up. So just sort brushes. Around. So I really want to get that chin pointed. Right now for the eyes a bit, I need to go quite dark around here. And obviously very dark under the eyes. I'm getting to the age where I can actually just follow my own natural lines, so kind of lucked out. I remember when I was at college doing prosthetics, and um, they'd be like, okay, scrunch your face up as much as you can and follow the lines. And back then I didn't really have any. It's very easy to do now. Oh well, each of those lines tells a story. But my sister would do some gorgeous Halloween look. Mine are always vile. Getting there. So remember I'm putting the dark in first, then I'm going to bring in some light to bring a bit of shape. I'm going to do brows. And that's where my brows are going to live, up there. Quite 
dark under it. It's really drooping down. You have to allow these products to to um, dry a little before you go too heavy with them. Once they've dried a bit, they're quite good. So just keep putting lines in wherever you think necessary. Just swapping for a slightly thinner brush. So take that thinner brush and draw a couple of lines through the forehead. Or probably more than a couple. Give myself a couple more warts, I think. In my palette there's a grey as well, I'm going to take a bit of my grey and pop that as a bit of shading in the old wartsies. And then there's also a white, which is now discoloured from me. And I'm going to pop that just to highlight my little warts. Take the grey mixed with a bit of the black. Under the eyes. Under the brows and under the eyes, and a bit of the black in here. There's a green there as well, I'm going to use a bit of the green with a bit of the white. A bit more green than that. I'm just going to Take that above the brow. So it's all about shading and highlighting. Starting to get the shape. I then need a little bit of dark just here. <laughs> Come on, little teeth look really white compared to this. It's very interesting. Right, I need to go a bit dark in here, don't I? Because my eyes are looking a bit too awake. They're just not sinister enough. It's really dark in there. Really dark. Along there as well. So you can see how it's slowly starting to take shape. It takes a while. 
you can get there in the end. I like being a witch. And then I'm going to take my highlighter ones, the grey and the green and that, and just pop some just on the nose because I want the nose to kind of look like it's not so much stuck on. That makes sense. I really want to bring the nose into it. So by adding a little bit of texture and colour and product to the nose, hopefully, it will sit slightly more real to the rest of the makeup. I need to put something just inside my eyes. They don't do an eyeliner pencil, so I'm going to take, this one's an Urban Decay one. I'm just going to take that inside my waterline. Doesn't need to be done tidy. Right, I need to colour my teeth, don't I? Now, I have a coloured thing which I'm going to use, which I used in um, Frankenstein. The reason I'm using this one is because I know it can be used on the teeth. Don't look quite so white now, do they? I think it's time for our wig. And there you have the finished wig. At an affordable price. Happy Halloween, my pretties. Sleep well. This is what my hair is actually like if I brush it and don't dry it now.